Hello, Internet. How is it hanging? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Minutef, and welcome to another video tutorial. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Optifine mod, and what this should do is greatly increase your Minecraft performance if you're on a slower computer like me. This computer used to be so good. Well, let's get on with it. So I have the link in the description for this, and the first thing we need to do is make sure that our Minecraft is compatible. So right here it says 1.2.5. Now I am currently running the newest snapshot, uh, I think it's 12W21B, and that's not going to work with this, so we're going to need to go ahead and wipe out our Minecraft and start over with the newest 1.2.5. But, before we do any of that, we're just going to go ahead and download the multi-core version. And you need to know what kind of CPU you're using. Most modern computers, I hope you're using at least a dual core processor. If not, then just go ahead and get the smooth. I have two cores in my system, so I'm going to get the multi-core, so I'm just going to go ahead and download it. Alright, so I've already got it downloaded, but I just want to clear up one of these things. So. Although all of these are supportive of 1.2.5, I would always recommend the newest one. So this is A7, this is you know, B2. Just get the newest one. The one that is on top is usually the one that is most recent. So I would always go for that and get the multi-core if you have a, at least a dual-core processor because it should give you more performance than usual. Okay, so now we've got it downloaded here. And you can see we have all these files inside here. So... What we're going to have to do is install this, and I've gone through this many times of getting to the actual Minecraft folder. So I'm opening up a new finder window, and we're going to go to library. I have a video on getting library here if you are on Lion or something and you don't know how to do this. I have a video on it because by default you cannot get to the library, but anyways, my video can help you out. So once you're in the library, go to application support, and then go into Minecraft. Now we're going to back this up. Before we start, I do this on every single mod I install. Always, always back up your Minecraft. So, right click, copy, and you can put this wherever you want. I just like my desktop, so paste. And we'll let that go ahead and copy. Alright, so it's just about done. Let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft folder. And what we're going to do is entirely delete the bin folder. And I always do this on every single one of my mod videos, again. Because just in case you have any mods installed or a new snapshot, it's not going to work. So I deleted the bin. And everything else in here is fine. So what I'm going to do is load up my Minecraft and it should just completely regenerate this bin folder. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up and I will get back to you when I'm done. Alright, so it is loaded up and by default the bin folder should be here. If not, then you should load it up again or force update or something. So here we go. Inside the bin folder. We have Minecraft.jar. This is where all these files are going to be installed to. So what you need to do is click on Minecraft.jar, press enter. This will allow you to rename it. And instead of .jar, Let's go ahead and add .zip. So then click use .zip. And then right now it looks the same, but if you double click it, it will actually unzip it like it is a zip format. And it should give you a folder if it works. Yeah, there we go. So go ahead and delete the old Minecraft.zip. And now we have just a Minecraft folder. So we're going to have to add .jar back onto that so the game thinks it's still the same file. So and press enter and add .jar and then press add. So now, this is the same thing as it was before, we can just edit all the files. And while we do that, let's just go ahead and copy all these in here. So I'm in the Optifine folder, so I've highlighted all of them with Command A. And we're going to copy. Alright, so now we're going to paste it into the Minecraft.jar. Paste and apply to all. Replace. You want to replace these items. If you do not, it won't work. So make sure you replace all of them. Alright, so now it should be successfully installed. And we're just going to go ahead and load up Minecraft and test it out. Alright, so we're now in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and load up a single player world. Let's do commentary number two. I should have deleted this world already, but who cares? Laziness. Ah, okay. Well, if we go into escape, options, video settings, you can tell that this is not what it normally looks like. So here we go. We have... Optifine successfully installed. It should give you a bit of a performance boost. Although on my crappy computer right now, you know, any performance is going to help. But ugh, it's just terrible. Alright, so I just want to tell you guys one more thing. If you're subscribed, then you probably know that I'm getting a new monitor soon. So I can actually record off my new computer that I built. 
Well, the monitor has been bought off of Amazon. I guess I'll provide a link in the description if you really want to see it. So it should be here by June 5th through the 8th. I'm just really looking forward to that so I can finally record off my new computer. It's just going to be great and then I won't have to lag all the time. But anyway, I will leave you with explosions. Hooray! All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you can check out one of the other two videos on screen. On the top, we have Minecraft Castaway Island. This was kind of a dual com video series thing I did with one of my friends. It's really cool, it's really fun to do. It kind of turned out a little weird at the end if you wanna watch the whole series, but anyways, on the bottom, we have my Minecraft summer updates. This was my previous video where I talk about some of the things that are gonna be laid out for the summer and just some of the stuff that's going on in my life at the time. It's not really have anything to do with the gameplay at all. And on the top right, you can subscribe to be notified when a future video comes out. So with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.